Hey, what up, guys? John from Mongo Fishing. So today I am bringing you an MTB Pro unboxing. This is the April 2018 Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box. Now, yesterday I planned on filming a how-to video and putting that out today, but instead, you know, I had some other stuff I had to do first. I had to install a new fish finder. Yeah, it's the, the Lowrance Hook 7. I guess it's like a second generation, you know, Hook hook 2 7. Uh, and that's the triple shot. So it's got side scan and down scan along with the regular sonar and mapping and all the other fun stuff. So I, uh, I installed that yesterday. And like I said, I was going to do a another how-to video, but the installation took longer than I was expecting. So I'm going to film that today, the, uh, the how-to video, and then I'll put that out tomorrow. But before we get to that, let's go ahead and do this uh, MTB Pro unboxing. Um, upcoming stuff. So this today, uh, I have... LTB tournament box is, is in the mail right now, so it should be here in a few days. The Lucky Taco Box. I have a giveaway coming up, and I have the latest. You know, I have a tournament this upcoming weekend, so I'll have another episode of uh, the Rookie Year Road to the Regionals. So let's get into this. All right. Sweet. Okay. Um, huh. Man, this fits into my agenda perfect. What's inside the box? Okay, so we have the Bagley Pro Sunny B Twin Spin. Apparently, I just got to throw that right there. So this is a Bagley lure. Um, it's gonna. It's got that little spy blade or spy bait blade action going on. I'm assuming this is balsa, like most of their products. Uh, I could be wrong. Yep, made of super light balsa wood. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't say what color it is. It's kind of like a little bluegill color. Cast easy runs true right out of the box. Large, large front and rear propellers that create maximum topwater disturbance and earn explosive strikes. Fish it in shallow water over grass and laydowns. Use a steady retrieve or rip and pause. Hang on. It weighs five eighths ounces. Five eighths, so a little more than a half ounce. Uh, and yeah, that's that. Uh, that retails for $12.99. Next, it says we have the Biospawn Exoswim. Well, that's weird. Oh, I was thinking the Exo Stick. Biospawn Exoswim, so four inch swim bait. You guys know I like swim baits. You know, I just bought a bunch of swim baits. So this will join that. Biospawn makes some pretty cool stuff. That is definitely scented. I don't know what the scent is. Pro blue, red, pearl, six pack. I don't know what the scent is though. Good gosh, man. All right, so Biospawn Exoswim uh, MSRP is five ninety nine. So a dollar per swim bait. Next is Sticky's Spinnerbait Trailer Hooks. I am a firm believer in using trailer hooks on spinner baits. Okay. Spinnerbait Trailer Hook Singular. There's one right there. MSRP is 99 cents. It's pretty sharp. You know how these things work? You slide them over the regular hook on your spinnerbait. Uh, there's this in this case. This is very similar to the KVD, if I remember right. Um, but basically, you stab your 
regular hook through the eyelet of this one. That little rubber grommet that's holding the hook will hold it in place, keep it from sliding back off. So that helps you uh, stick those short strikes. And that is a dollar ninety-nine cents. Next is the Catch Coast spinnerbait. You know, had I had I read forward, I would have saw this coming, so I would have showed you. But I guess I'll do it now. So this is a three-eighths ounce gray shad. Is the color double-bladed spinnerbait? the sticky hook goes on. Some people like to run the hooks the same direction so that when you slide it on they're both facing that way like that. Others like to run it opposite direction so you can get you know the top of the mouth and the bottom of the mouth. Um, your choice. But for demonstration purposes I'll put them both the same direction. And you basically just pop that hook through the rubber grommet eyelet of the other, and there you go. Now for storage, because now this makes the bait really long, right? Um, so for storage, what I like to do is just turn it in like this, and now it fits in wherever you got to put it. In this case, right back in its bag until I use it. I can do that later. All right, uh, and that's MSRP on that is $5.99 also. Big Bite Baits Limit Maker for $2.35. Big Bite Baits Limit Maker. It's a little soft plastic. I love Big Bite Baits. They're a really cool company. They have one of the one of my favorite soft plastic worms. Their uh, Wacky Stick is one of my favorite Cinco styles. All right, so. I am not quite sure on this bait. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop shot it. I'm not sure how I'm going to fish this. Let's see what else comes with this and maybe that'll point me in the right direction of what they're expecting me to do. Um, it's got eyes. It's got these weird ridges. I'm not sure what they're wanting me to do with that. I'll have to just play around with it with some different hooks and see what I think gives it the best movement. Big Bite Baits Limit Maker 235. There are five of them in here. Next step is the Lucky John Chunk Tail. Lucky John Chunk Tail. Looks like a grub. Oof, those things got some funk in them too. Explosive injection of scent and taste. Okay. So, it's a big curly tail. Color is bait fish. The length is 2.9 inches. There's seven of them with a strong scent. Sorry, a strong shrimp scent. I believe that. So the chunk tail. Maybe they're wanting that. Maybe they're wanting people to use that as a spinnerbait trailer. I know some people use spinnerbait trailers. I rarely do, but I have been known to do it before. Maybe I'll maybe I'll do it. Yeah, we'll figure that out. That is $3.99. Next up is the Boyd Ducket. It's Castaic Boyd Ducket Square Bill. This is the BD 2.5, dives 3 to 5 feet. I guess that's supposed to be Gizzard Shad. The color is Gur Giz Shad. G R G Z Shad. Big ol' Square Bill. Yeah, I'd say the hooks are sticky. Because, there we go. Yeah, good sticky hooks. 
pretty wide bill. Got me. That's going to catch fish, no doubt in my mind. Which then takes me to the last thing that I'll probably use right now, and that's Al's Goldfish Hook Bonnets. These are little treble hook protectors. Put over your treble hooks to keep your hooks from getting stuck, getting all tangled up with other treble hooks, etc. Looks like that. And you just slip it over your treble hook. Good lord, man, that thing is sharp. afraid to push this in there very far. I'm afraid it's going to slip and I'll stab myself. These are some sharp hooks. But basically it slides in like that and you got to push it in harder. I wasn't going to do it because like I said these are some super sharp hooks and uh, I don't want to get stuck but they just push on. Maybe we can try it this way. There we go. They're on. So that is the uh, Owl's Goldfish Hook Bonnet. And there's a pack of uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, so eight, eight of them. Okay. Last thing is a pixelated bass sticker. So, from back through this again, you saw the hook bonnets, you saw the boy duck it, wherever it went, there it is, the boy duck it uh, BD 2.5 square bill the chunk chunk tail by lucky john in strong squid or sorry strong shrimp scent man that's tough for me to say this morning yeah gross but that'll catch fish uh, the limit maker by big bite baits again still not quite sure what I'm supposed to use this for. I'll figure it out. I'll play around with a couple different hooks. If anything, drop shot it will work. Drop shotting is very, very, very effective. Uh, spinnerbait, followed by the Ketchco spinnerbait and the Stickies spinnerbait trailer hook that I've already stuck together. Bam. There you go. Oh, and you know, on the, on the uh, spinnerbait, you have a gold blade and a silver blade, both willow. Willows are meant for putting out a lot of flash. Not necessarily a lot of thump, but a lot of flash. So that's that. The Biospawn Exoswim 4 inch swim baits. You know I'm going to use those. That's a fact. And the Pro Sunny B Tail. Uh, Pro Sunny B Twin Spin by Bagley. That is that, guys. Comment below what your favorite lure is out of this. Or comment below what you think I'm supposed to use that big bite baits lure for. As always, guys, hit that subscribe button right down there. Looks like me holding a fish. Could be right over here. Looks like me holding a fish. Hit that like button. Drop a comment below. Get on the water. Be safe. And go stick some lips.